I'm sad. I'm I'm really sad. I missed D Rock's party because I I hear tell there were some things going on. What things? That Roland was uh the shittiest guest at a party oh ever. Oh my god! Well, yes. he brought his own dessert. He brought his own desserts. He was lambast. I heard he was like telling your family that. They, they they had pedestrian desserts. He said the bread wasn't close enough to the sauce. Yeah, like know, he was bashing fucking... But he knows this shit. You know, you go to a party, you don't start fucking criticizing things. And when he said yesterday, he goes, Anthony, is bringing your own dessert, uh, you know, is that a bad thing to do? And I said yesterday, I went, no, because I thought he meant bringing a dessert to a party. He brought his own dessert, one dessert. He, he, went, to, he went to the cronut place. Uh-huh. And he walked into e house with a little shopping bag with dessert in it. And everybody was bringing something, a bottle, uh -huh. a bottle of wine. I didn't bring anything. Well, I'm a terrible house guest. Everybody except oh, Jim. Yeah. Bring, I your apologize. Humor, bring your humor and love. But then yeah, Roland, that either. <laughs> he took his dessert bag yeah. and he walked to the kitchen table and he sat down and he put his dessert bag under his chair. Yes. And oh, he sat gosh. there mm -hmm. guarding his dessert until the Nagel family brought out the desserts for the party, at which point the everybody... pedestrian desserts. Everybody you went into the that, dining like room. Yeah, yeah. And Roland proclaimed he wouldn't be eating the pedestrian desserts and took his <sighs> own dessert out and put it on the table, refusing to share with anybody except Opie and Who Kid. Yeah, that's prickish. Yeah. I fucking made it. Yeah, it's delicious. Oh. My first cronut. I, I yeah. passed the last time you brought them around. They, like, oh. they with, are ridiculous. Really good. Yeah, and then he had a new raspberry brioche dessert. Who goes, oh my God, this is the best. What did what desserts did uh, the Nagels have, Nagel? There was uh, a lot of stuff. Yesterday, oh. Roland was telling everybody in the office that uh, all of Eric's desserts came from Costco, it and that's why he would not be eating them. Holy shit. I said it had a Costco-esque feel to it, so I would be surprised. What I'll tell ass. you, well, I'll tell Someone you actually bought, sorry, brought in a box of uh, crumbs. Something from crumbs. Oh. And he he was visceral. He just went Ugh, Ugh, crumbs. He made this face and then this noise I've never heard before. He was wow. really mad that someone would dare bring some crumbs yeah, into this party. Crumbs. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh, not bad. <laughs> yeah. He's the rudest guest. <laughs> That's right. But <laughs> Roland's the rudest. You didn't have any of that fucking red velvet cake was good. That was really tasty. Uh -oh. Yeah, for a pedestrian palate, maybe. But oh, I mean, not for you. I will be very honest. I, en palate. I enjoyed the cr I probably need to have another one. I Bro, think it was tasty, mm -hmm. but I didn't uh, love it. It, didn't, oh. it wasn't a bad dessert, wow. but I didn't you love it. You wouldn't wait on uh, line no. for it? No, because other stuff are good, like the DKA. The DKA is amazing. Phenomenal. I've had one of those. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's got desserts that are His probably souffle. better than the cronut. But the cronut is the thing that took off because the name of it and all that shit. Uh -huh. It's a, it's a pop delicious. culture phenomenon. It certainly is. But they, he really does have mm -hmm. amazing other things. Mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Roberts wanted a souffle, so I gave her one, and she took off with one. Yeah, and then he goes, he goes, well, I gave your wife a souffle, and she's not rude. And I go, yeah, she didn't bring it from home and then refused to share it with the rest of the party. That's true. It's not rude to take it. No. no. People ask me, can I have a piece? I would no, but it's delicious. Oh, that's so rude. Is that rude? His, like, foodiness and mm. food addiction has gotten to a whole other level lately. Like, he is so yeah. condescending and picky and insulting. Yeah, about every, other everybody food. else is a piece of shit. Yeah. Now, I heard, uh, I saw Who Kid brought some Cristal, <laughs> yeah. but drank it out of paper cups <laughs> with ice in it. Yeah. Yes, that's true. That's true. <laughs> That's like, I hate to say what that is. <laughs> There's a certain wor word. There That's why I press. Uh, well, you could use that also, I guess. Radio edit. Yes. Uh, there he is. Uh, who could drinking out of a paper coffee cup. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, some ice cubes in bottles it. with some ice cubes. Right. Stall on ice. Yeah, that's not how you're supposed to do that, I don't think. But, all right. How did... um. And and I, I I heard when he came in, he's like, "What's up, niggas?" And the Nagel family the family was horrified. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> let's just say like uh, almost mafioso t style Italians there. <laughs> and he goes, "What up, nigga?" As he walks into the house, and there's just they a... just thought it was a home invasion. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see any mafia oso type of folks. Uh -oh. Yeah, the, 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 you didn't. I, yeah, there's three of they them. They were in sitting the, off to the side in the dining room. Drinking their rosé. You don't think there's any mob in the Nagel uh -huh. uh, family, Sam? I didn't notice any. 
I and he mangles up mob ties. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he never could have out eaten to tell you. <laughs> there might have been some people. There's a horse's ass left in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> that was clever. <laughs> we could put the dessert behind the toilet. <laughs> The Nagel yeah. fucking mafia. Yeah. There might have been some people of Italian descent. That's great. But yeah. I didn't. I didn't yeah. Nobody struck me as having mafia. Uh, yeah, but they're not gonna too. like make it obvious, Sam. Uh, I mean, a hint. Yeah, I yeah. don't see them as being uh, a mafia type of uh, family. <laughs> no, the Nagels. No, not, not at all. Not, not my family. Oh. oh. Implying that there's some, oh, uh, I, I married the mob type stuff. Right, you married into the mob. You're Forget like, get about it. Yeah, you're like Carlo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wish it would end the same way. I certainly do too. <laughs> I'm kicking that. out his windshield. <laughs> uh, <laughs> choke yeah. him with a hoagie. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he okay. was quite the scene who kid when he walked in his pants were sagging and uh -huh. he was yelling n-words And he was holding four bottles up right in the air. right he bought crystal and moet quite an entrance no bitches though He didn't have any bitches with him Troy no. brought the bitches. I heard Troy brought the Troy bitches. absolutely right. brought the yeah. bitches. Troy brought the bitches That's pretty good what, the bitches. Uh, How are they, I, heard, I heard two bitches were making out in the fucking kitchen or something. I didn't see any of that We uh, yeah, we saw that. we didn't see no bitches making out. Well look there was a little bit who kidding me at one point decided that we were going to try to make the party look a lot more exciting on Instagram than oh, it was okay. at the time. Right, right. I was looking going, that looks like a fun fucking party. Yeah. Right, that's why we started dancing in small, small I didn't Instagram dance. camera size I wanted groups. to see when the, when the camera moved <laughs> yeah. a little. I didn't see people on the peripheral no. edges of the... Yeah. And uh, I did no dancing. And we just got no, two you girls. You just chilled. I did. We got the two girls there to put their faces close together. Oh, okay. Uh, and then angled it. Oh, Everybody so thought it was, it was a blast, like, though. Uh, kind of a perspective yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah okay. It was cool. I went in there. I had some fucking red velvet cake and went back into the kitchen. Jimmy ate very well. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> ate very well until the last 30 minutes of the party. Oh, <laughs> yeah, really? I knew I would be bad then. He had a, bro Jim walked had a breakdown. In, Jim walked oh. in the door. He was doing amazingly well for Baby the carrots. three and a half hours Not some prior. Some chicken, some, a little bit of pasta. Yeah. And I had some cake and cookies. Aw. Why not have a cheat day? It's like, okay. yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, Gotta punish myself yesterday. I know, I, 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 it sounds good. It sounds like a fun time. I it was know. fun. Yeah. yeah. It was nice. It was enjoyable. Like, enjoyable chat. Yeah. To uh, see the Nagels in action, the nice home. Yeah, how's the Nagel uh, Mansion? It's a great basement if you're yeah. an Oompa Loompa. Oh, it's no. fucking four feet high, the oh, basement. Oh, no. <laughs> it's also full of toys, so it is really like... Oh, yeah. God. Does it look like a child's yeah. playroom? Yes. <laughs> you know what's the craziest thing I ever saw? Uh-oh. He's got this giant DVD shelf, right? Yeah. It's like two walls full, and it's awesome. I got a big DVD collection myself, but half the DVDs are turned sideways. And I go, Eric, why? what does it mean when they're turned sideways? And he goes, those are the ones I want to watch. And how many are there? Like dozens and dozens. Oh my God. He's going through his collection. Like, I got to make a point Turn to watch that. that sideways. To watch that. Little system. He's got a system. Yeah. yeah. I like that. So you remember to watch him. Of course. <laughs> you remember to watch That means them. you have too many if you don't remember to watch exactly. them. Right. right. And then what about the ones that you don't want to watch? Why have them? Oh, they're already gone. If but I didn't what? want them, they're, they're So what, you're watching now. them and then deciding if you, sh you should keep it after no, you watch it everything again? Everything on that wall there I'm keeping. What oh. about the, but the sideways ones? Though? No, I keep any DVDs so full at this point. Yeah. This no I'm glad reason. you picked up on that. I am so dishing every single DVD I, in the near future. I pop everything Except for on the kids' hard drive movies now. for the, the car. Everything goes on my little hard drive entertainment system. Hard drive of hits? Hard drive of hits. And I just pop it up. There it is. All right. Nice. It was a good time, though. You, wow. missed, you missed a good time. I, know, I missed the yeah. Nagel. It was definitely an average time. <laughs> <Nagel hard. laughs> you think average? Yeah. I yeah. enjoyed it. Eric did a good job. He yeah, knows how to throw a party. He takes care of everybody. Yeah, the chicken was good. Yeah, the pasta was. was tasty. He kind of knew what everyone was Isn't into. Right. Oh, my host. God. The desserts were okay. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I, I didn't... I'll tell you what was good. The chocolate chip cookies were really good. And the... Um, the cronuts were good. Mm -hmm. I only had... I didn't have any cronut. Oh, uh, no? Oh, Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> Kenny's got something to say. I was holding back, but I'll say it. All right. There was a lot of pissed off people at that party. Why? Whoa. Why? 
What kind of soft drinks were there? It's, you're right, Kenny. What happened? No yeah. soft drinks? No, let Mr. Nagel explain. Mr. Nagel? <laughs> there was soda and juice. What kind of soda? Diet soda? Exactly. That's it? Yeah, there was well, no regular you soda. You didn't have any standard issue Good. Coke or... No, because no one drinks it. That's yes, true. They yes, do. yes, they do. Oh, my God. They don't. Yes, yes, they do. They I do. was looking for some. Kenny I was, was not have wanted uh, uh, Coke. Diet Coke. Yeah, I was going to celebrate with a sugary beverage. Right. Coke Zero. So I, I go for your bleachy oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> He's ready to go. Just diet soda. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did that's you hear, terrible. Did you hear the great story Kenny and I told about sharing Dr. Peppers? Yeah. It wasn't diet Dr. Peppers. No. Yeah. No. What's the first three letters of diet? <laughs> Very good. That's terrific. That's tragic. It's <laughs> amazing. Uh, yeah, Iraq. You gotta have regular and diet uh, when you're having a party. It uh, that that's a, a faux pas right there. Yeah, I didn't want to burst everybody's bubble. Oh yeah. There oh. was a lot of pissed off people. Oh, sorry, wow. it was, most people were drinking real drinks. Ah, that's wow. right. We focused okay. more on that than we did on the. Well, I mean, all right. Uh, if you want everybody to just drive yeah. drunk home, yeah. Excuse oh, me for being spiritual. <laughs> spiritual. <laughs> Kenny, that's not how he believes that. Spiritual. <laughs> spiritual. <laughs> no, he's talking about that's a good argument. <laughs> no. No. All right, mm. that's great. Thanks for inviting me. Did you mean that to be resentful sounding? No, I, I love the meatballs. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the meatballs were good. Well, they have to be because the Did Italian you treat yourself? And mafia family. <laughs> yeah, making you, meatballs. I treated myself to one chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> oh, you <gasps> wanted to say that? You did. Jimmy's head turned around. Yeah, I was like, what do you say? No, just hearing Kenny ate a cookie. I thought oh. it was good. What would you have to drink with it? Oh boy, I had a bottle of Poland spring water. <laughs> Diet <laughs> that's not, water. That's not a treat at all. <laughs> well, there wasn't no regular soda. Even for the drinks, like you had to put diet soda yeah. in. Like a, if I if I would have been at this party and wanted a captain and coke, exactly. I would have had a captain and diet. I coke? was thinking of you. Oh, that's terrible. It's like thank God I didn't, didn't drive two hours for this but shit. Diet soda, <laughs> oh, man, that would have pissed me I, off. I think you're being a, a very ungrateful guest, Kenny. It was a lovely affair. Yeah, yeah, I would have yeah, mouthed off. There gracious, weren't so many mafiosa you. around. I bet, right? <laughs> yeah, I wrote him a gracious <laughs> thank you email. They probably looked at you he like did. you were uh, like you were McCluskey. <laughs> yeah. Well, people were wondering why Kenny wouldn't take his jacket off. Oh, oh, oh Whoa. Eric, that's the wrong question to ask. Oh, shit. His superhero the jacket. To that question. That's there's true. well, there's two reasons. He had a bra on under it. <laughs> had a bro. I'm going to go with the uh, gun. No, I, no. I had a, a, my shirt out. My shirt was untucked. Ah. Eric, I think Why Kenny... Why would you take your jacket off? Kenny didn't want to say it because he didn't want to be an ungracious guest. Pissed on right? the front of your pants? No, no. He didn't trust your family not to steal his jacket. Oh. Or he was ready to leave at any time. Oh, oh With all that boy. mob in the house. To get some. <laughs> he thought a hit might go down. <laughs> Did your mafia relatives get nervous because Kenny looked like a cop? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're doing some big deals. Besides, I had the most famous jacket at the party. Forget about that. Most but famous. someone wasn't offered to take their jacket. That is oh, not true. Shit. Yes, it is. That's why you left it on? Like, You're may I take your coat? Yeah. Do you know, uh -huh. what, you know what happened? That's class. Was that a Dice uh, jacket? Yeah, it was oh, a gift. No kidding. And then... Oh, wow. I, I keep my jacket on because... You know what happens to jackets at parties, right? They get thrown out the window and into trees. No, no. And <laughs> Someone I, rubs their asshole on them? Yes, close, Jim. Uh -oh. They get thrown on a bed upstairs in a bedroom. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then some lucky person goes home with a jizz stain on their coat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's fucking on the coats? <laughs> Kenny he was, wasn't trying to. <laughs> yeah, Kenny was trying to all night with the girls that Troy brought. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's going to no, be a thing now. That's, you yeah. got to jizz on one coat. <laughs> you, don't even a need a, you don't even need a lucky lady. Just fucking <laughs> jack off onto the... Just jack off on the fucking <laughs> coats on the bed. Right. Yeah. That shows you care. Wow. Well, well could, you could have... Put it in a closet somewhere. Kenny, Kenny was it up. Believe me, I tried to put it in a lot of places, but it... <laughs> <laughs> the real reason is Kenny was insulted that nobody asked him. Right, I was there when he got there, and nobody asked him to take his coat. May I take your coat, sir? Right. And then, not long after he got there, uh -huh. yeah. Jim Norton arrived, oh. and right in front of Kenny's face 
while Kenny was wearing his coat, Jim was asked, can I take your coat? Wow. And then that's an insult. <laughs> Kenny immediately picked up on it, obviously, and, and told me. Was this done on purpose, insulted. Iraq comment? No, nothing was done on purpose. You know what who it was? Took, it was who all took that mob influence. They didn't want the <laughs> yeah, yeah. helping out the fuzz. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking police. Yeah. What? Uh, who took your coat, though, Jimmy? I think it was uh, Ange. Took the my hostess. Coat. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Mm. Someone just uh, tweeted me, said that Dane Cook has a bit on shitting on all the coats as they're on oh, the bed. God. <laughs> shitting on Is it a short bit? Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he'll tell it at Patrice's benefit. Oh, maybe. Tickets still available? A little bit, but it's almost. I was looking Not yesterday. Many? Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, the that. second annual uh, Patrice O'Neill benefit is going down February 18th, and we got some tickets available. It's at the New York City Center. Tickets available at new. Well, let let me do it this way. Tickets available at nycitycenter.org. Okay, nycitycenter.org, and I believe we also have a link on our Facebook page, which is Opie and Anthony. And uh, it's, it's wow, it's David Tell, Nick DiPaolo, Colin Quinn, Jim Norton, Dane Cook, Bill Burr, Rich Voss, Bonnie McFarlane, Robert Kelly, Talent, Big J Okerson, Harrison uh, Stanton, and I believe Keith Robinson needs to be added to our list here. Yeah, and Talent as well. Talent's on here, yeah, and Keith Robinson. Mm. We can get Shaquille O'Neal in the studio again. We had a great time. Yes, right across did. the street is Fox. Get him to float over here. He's well, here. I would love to. He's here all the time, too, in Talk New York. Talk to him about that fucking floating balloon, Shaq. <laughs> That'd be great. He's wearing the Shaq balloon clothes, Shaq too. Shaq balloon. Wow. Oh. Just Look in at case. him with Christy. Holy shit. He's uh, very, very tall, that Shaq. I don't mm. think I'm going out on a limb saying that. <laughs> he's uh, endorsing Christy, I guess, if anybody gives a flying fuck who uh, he endorses. He's already starting the endorsement thing. Well, yeah, I guess he's back. It's a little early, right? Chris Christie. It says for New York, New Jersey youths. Youths? Toys for twats. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I like that. Yeah. I don't know why we don't get Shaq back. We loved him. Yeah. He kind of liked... No, not even kind of. He yeah, definitely liked, liked his time, time on our show. All right, we're going to play this in a break. We'll continue with some shit. Oh. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton. 